On Saturday, U.S. President Trump emphasized that there have been 11.24 deaths per 100,000 people in the U.S., which is lower than Spain, France, and Italy. But only 0.33 people per 100,000 people died in China. He called it impossible and asked, does anybody really believe these numbers? The pandemic has already claimed 4,632 Chinese lives. Is that a small number? Chinese public opinion has been asking why so many people died. Chinese believe that our country should have seen fewer deaths and sincerely believe that there is still room for effort and improvement. To date, nearly 40,000 people have died in the U.S. That is totally unacceptable in Chinese people's view. The fundamental difference between China and the U.S. is that the Chinese government takes keeping the death toll as low as possible as a top priority, while the U.S. has been weighing between which is more beneficial, fewer dead people or less economic losses. What politicians are really doing is competing to see who can look more like a wartime leader and better cast blame on others. Anti-pandemic efforts in the U.S. have never completely effectively organized. Of course, it's not all politicians' fault.